Hello guys, it's James here from Kimman Tutorials and we have got a tutorial today on how to do this and this is just basically my attempt on GIMP of a fisheye lens sort of effect and I'm going to go into GIMP and show you how I have tried to replicate this, it's sort of like a fake lens dis distortion fisheye sort of effect um, it, I don't, I don't know why you'd want to do it, but it's something I'd learn and I'd like to share with you. Right, let's just reset that to where it was before. It was about there. Right, so what you're going to do, you're going to go to File, Open, and open any image you would like to like to get the desired effect on, and I want to do it on an Xbox controller, which is this image here. And now I've got the image, I'm just going to control and scroll all down, just have a little bit more space to work with. Doing one more there. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, well I'm going to get the main distortion of it. And what you have to do now is go to filters, distorts, and lens distortion. And here you got your little preview up here. Let's make it a bit bigger. And main edge. I'm not a cl not clear what they do, but I put them both to 100. And as you can see here, it's sort of like bent it slightly. And the zoom I put up a little bit, just so you can see it a bit better. Actually, it seems it. I'll push it about 50. There we go and you press OK and as you can see down the bottom of the screen it's loading up the distortion of it bam we have our distortion now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all these bends and how we're going to do that is we're going to go over to this tool over here the crop tool we're going to click on that and it's going to come up with this sort of like crosshair thing and what you have to do is you have to go from one corner of it right over to the bottom corner the opposite corner sorry and you let go that's done and you just bam click in the middle and it will come up with a rectangular box now the next thing I'm going to do is get sort of like the fisheye circle around here and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to click the ellipse select all select an elliptical region and if you hold shift I think this works but it sort of like turns it into more of a circle and I'm going to try and make this as circular as I possibly can a bit more up and you can use this just to sort of like move it around slightly and that is fairly circular so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select and invert or control I they do the exact same thing but I'm just gonna click that for the purposes of this video the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna click the paintbrush tool I'm gonna make sure the opacity is 100 I'm going to go oh. I'm gonna make sure the size is at 100 or uh, however high I can get it I'm just going to go over it. You can probably use a better tool than this, but as you can see, I'm just going all the way over it, making sure I'm getting every last bit. And so that's all black go around the edge of the circle. Voila. And that is your gem general fisheye sort of like look. But as you can see, you've got these black bars here, and you don't really want the black bars. So what I'm going to show you is how to get rid of those black bars just to neaten it up, make it a bit, make it look a bit nicer. It's not entirely necessary, but I like doing it, and I don't know why that keeps on coming up. But yeah, so you go to the the crop tool, sorry, and then you click sort of like directly up from the edge of the circle 
and you pull a rectangular or square block and make sure the the right and left line are li lined up with the sides of the circle and then you just click in the middle again and bam there is your desired effect and as you can see they're slightly uneven but that's purely because I didn't do a true circle and I should have done a true circle and to save the image you simply go to file export and save it wherever you want just by clicking export and that is it for the fish eye lens tutorial etc etc hope you enjoyed it guys that's what it should look like and don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe